All right, I think these babies are ready to go. I love my big Italian family. My family loves their food. And then, oh yes, and there's the bacon. There's the bacon. But not my whole family. <laughs> For the past 10 years, my vegetarian wife has been trying to convince me to take a closer look at just how these ribs ended up on my plate. So I agreed to set out on a journey to visit the farms, meet the animals. Oh my gosh, he's huge. <laughs> and question the farmers. So why did you speak out? I just felt like the consumer was being lied to. And what we found surprised us. Caring about animals, caring about where your food comes from, caring about how your food is produced is just part of a larger shift in all of civilization. Man does have dominion over the animals. Man does have a calling to be a steward of the animals. With animals, you're talking about living beings that have feelings, they have emotions, that's been proven, but dominion does not mean complete domination. I don't have to cause the death of somebody else to survive. Yes, I ethically justify eating meat, but we've got to give animals a good life. We've got to give them a life worth living. I am not an animal activist. Wow, look at him. This is not about a grand conspiracy in our food supply. We have this vision of these kind of fat, evil industrialists, when in fact it was a result of hundreds of thousands of small decisions made by small farmers to produce more with less. This is an honest look at the way animals are raised for food and the impact of the choices we make each time we sit down to eat.